So I'm one game away from getting to the championship with Marshall. A lot of comp players cannot do this. If you guys think you can, let me know down below in the comments. Because I want to see if you guys can do this with Marshall. Anyways, for the first match I had Penn State, which is very odd. Because usually I'm playing Alabama every single time. Especially in the playoffs. I'm always matched up with Alabama. My second match... I matched up with another Penn State user, which is super odd. Now, I get ball first. It's fourth and seven. My opponent was running double mud mid blitz. And I go to my trusty man coverage beater, hitch route. This was a killer for him because he just couldn't simply stop it. Every time he went to man and I needed first talent, I was throwing the hitch route. So I'm still running RPO cheese, giving him a little bit of time trying to figure out how to stop it. It is stoppable. And then also, if I make user mistakes, it makes things a little bit more difficult. Now, he's in cover one, press. Usually I run the flood play, throw it deep to the right. But this time, from finding out big body receivers, they always break press. And learning from the pass, look at square, he breaks press, put him on streak, easy touchdown. I had to just make sure I was able to make an accurate pass. Now, he gets first possession. And he done a lot of running around. Now, I ended up trying to contain more this match. You guys are going to see it throughout the game. And uh, shockingly, for some odd reason, only this match contained worked properly. But the things that my opponent was doing this match was super unrealistic. And of course, it was going in his favor. Now, I played cover four here. I don't know why my strong safety just immediately, immediately runs backwards. I mean, yes, that's his assignment, but I've never seen him play that far immediately. I knew he was going to throw to the slot, and of course I gave it up. But my strong safety is supposed to be there to knock the ball down and cover four, but it is what it is. So he was uh, just making gains, getting downfield. He gets downfield. Now I ran the cover two, and I told my guys to play stick, so... They're supposed to be where the running back's at, but apparently they didn't want to play it. So I had to try to come across field to play this, and I was barely able to almost make an interception, but wasn't fast enough, and he ends up scoring. So I get the ball back, and you know I'm running the ball with my first string running back, and I just get absolutely destroyed. Fumble happens. He gets the ball. It is what it is. That's expected when you use a trash team. So... Back on defense, he has great field position to work with. I was hoping to get tip joy interception right there. Don't get it. Third and four, I need a stop. And right here, I tried, well, I actually did a little bit of adjustment cheese. So I baited him to thinking that, oh, he can get a streak route. So I, I showed blitz to bring down my safeties. Then I backed him off real quick. Now, when he did motion, it glitched out my DBs to go back and press. But with that little adjustment I've done, I was able to back off my DB that's in the cloud flat to play the streak, which he ends up throwing quickly. If I didn't do that, he would have scored this touchdown. But because I've done that, I was able to get my defender to lurk, and he was able to play that properly. So like I said, if I'd never done that quick adjustment, he would have scored easily. So I get a turnover. I miss a wide open receiver right here. And then back to the hitch route. Like, this was money for me. Every time I see man, like I said, I'm throwing the hitch route. If it's guaranteed, given. Now, I get downfield. All I have to do is get at least field goal or some points on the board before halftime. Because he does get ball second half. The thing is, I just wasted my timeout. It's 11 seconds left. I thought I had... You know, enough time to possibly get a touchdown pass, though incomplete pass if necessary. But his defensive lineman, his pass rusher, got to me so quick, which I wasn't expecting that. He ends up sacking me, and then, of course, the time ran out because that was an unexpected event that happened. So I should have just took my field goal. So in the future, I'm going to acknowledge that. Just take the points, no matter how much time. I have on the clock to give my opponent. I'm taking my points. And not going to risk things like that. Second half happens. Very first play. I contain. For some odd reason. When I contain. I got in some block shed. Makes no sense. 
so I got pressure disrupted the pass and made it inaccurate and I got very lucky I got an interception but why is it that I was able to get that fast of a pressure with containment compared to just regular blitzing and in general I told you guys in the past that containment never works but for some odd reason it worked for getting quicker pass rush compared to like stopping when they actually roll out it makes no sense so I end up just uh, punching in with my backup running back because my first string running back was all messed up and then I kick off to his running back and he gets big yardage so I had to uh, make that mindful not to kick it to his running back because he can break free I get him down to a fourth and sixth play now right here motion I know it's going to be a um, play action fake out of this formation I faced this so many times especially when facing Alabama users but there's times where the game manually controls your player like you have no control even if like you're um, using a slot DB or somebody outside of the linebacker position and he's in zone there's times where you're trying to move him and he's automatically playing his zone. so that's what happened here my guy just get fakes I get sucked into a block and I'm trying to run back to play this slot crossing route should have been an easy pick it was out of reach and he ends up scoring it was very devastating because it was a fourth down play so my starting running back every game he's been getting hurt then I put in my backup running back and just this play alone first time he gets in he gets hurt so I literally had to take him out of the game and then put in my third string running back so that's another thing playing with trash teams your players tend to get hurt very quickly back to the hitch route on man defense then back to the run this is weird I break the tackle and then I get tripped up and I just automatically run out of bounds. I've seen that animation all the time. And I've never seen anybody else get tripped up like I do. Only for me. Just so it can stop time for my opponent. And then double mug mid blitz. I have never seen this stop a QB sneak play. I needed a first down. That's why I went to a QB sneak play. Because I knew he was going to run double mug. Because he's been running that this drive. And yet it stops me from getting a sneak. So, fourth and one, go for it, and I throw a hitch route. Now, I wasted a little bit more time. I didn't want to immediately score, but I ended up doing it. As you guys see, I tried to cut back, but I got pushed forward to score. So, now he has time. So, his possession right here to possibly tie up the game or win it, he starts off with a screen pass, and he's just running backwards. Look at this cheese, man. Now, I went to manually go chase him because I know my slow ass lineman wouldn't have got to the quarterback but he's running left he's throwing the backside my lineman sat with the running back the whole time and then he swim moves over the running back just to get blocked like why and the fact that his quarterback was able to actually throw that just makes it so arcadey so he picks up a huge gain off of that like really EA so then he throws a blind post corner read and double coverage. And I'm shocked his tight end didn't come down with this. Where he was able to force the ball out. Which is supposed to happen. But in the past, every time this happens, I get caught on. It makes no sense. So I got Bell out there. So I end up containing. I re-blitz my DN. And shockingly, I got instant shed. Which never happens. I never get pressure with Marshall. But for some reason this game I did. Disrupted the pass. Now it's 4th and 9. He ran the 4 verticals again. I was giving up the slot. Because I was expecting my safety to play this. So. You see a difference. Where he plays it correctly this time. But even though my opponent overthrew it. He should have caught this. Um, pass. To his receiver. So I got kind of bailed out with the inaccuracy but it doesn't make sense that he can have planted feet and throw inaccurate pass but you guys just saw on that screen pass that he can run around and throw across his body accurately so I end up getting a stop and you know I went to take a knee and pretty much win this game but all in all you guys see how 
broken of a mess this game continues to be. But it is what it is. I got my win. I wonder if my championship is going to be against another Penn State user. Like, this is the first time I face Penn State back to back in general. Like I said before, every single match, I am facing Alabama every single game. And the fact that I haven't faced them yet in the playoffs is kind of shocking. So I'm probably going to face them in the next match and then lose. That's going to be devastating, but we got to see and find out what happens. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Till next time, see you guys later. I'm out. Peace.